Hey guys, Brady from Pure Automotive here. Uh, this is going to be part one of our LS swap kit uh, video series. Basically with this car, what we're doing is we're taking a running LS car. Um, as you can see, I mean this thing's got some miles on it. It's definitely not a, uh, a brand new setup. I believe it's been in this car for probably about 3,000 miles, maybe 4,000 miles. Uh, it was in my, this actual swap was in my personal car for about 2,000 miles, and then I uh, moved it to this car. So everything works drivability-wise. I mean, it has an electronic throttle pedal, but it's not an FRS pedal. It's actually an LS, um, like I believe, an Impala or something like that pedal um, that we made work. Um, as you can see with this one, you kind of you have uh, an auxiliary fuse box, which is made into the LS wiring harness, and then the harness actually terminates in the bay to an LS computer, which you know is fine. It works. Uh, maybe not the greatest thing to have the ECU in the engine bay, um, but that's the way that all the GM cars are. So. Uh, we did it that way and it works. With this particular swap, what it does is it actually terminates into the factory wiring uh, in here. And it picks up some of the major points uh, like coolant temperature and RPM and carries it into the car. Um, coolant temperature is just a GM sensor that's basically been wired into the harness for the FRS gauge cluster to see it because it's not part of CAN bus. So currently inside the car on this this swap, uh, you notice we have the aftermarket tack. Uh, that's because we tried some different methods of using pickup sensors and rings on the stock crank pulley to get RPM and it just, it was problematic. It worked. I'm not knocking it at all, but um, we had the ring come loose one time and we lost sensor signal a couple times and so we ended up putting this gauge in um, to get the job done in the meantime. Um, the gas gauge as you can see is showing uh, a level. What we found with this kind of a hardwired setup because of the way that the fuel pump gets power from the ECU, the gas gauge tends to kind of go from full to somewhere in the middle to dead empty pretty fast, um, which has resulted in us running out of gas a couple of times. Um, the temperature gauge, as you can see, is working. Um, actually, I'll start it up for you. Um, the temperature gauge works. It'll actually creep up to the middle, and for the most part, it's not it's not really problematic because it's a direct sensor to the engine. Um, as you can see, as RPM goes up on the gauge, it doesn't go up on the factory cluster. Um, mile an hour still works uh, via the wheel speed sensors. Um, this car has a constant check engine light because it's running dual ECU, so the FRS ECU is still in here, but it has no readiness, um, no way of uh, turning the light off completely, so it stays on constantly. Um, there is a, a GM OBD connector so you can diagnose the engine, but that does not communicate with the FRS computer. So you basically have two OBD ports um, to do the job. Um, basically just wanted to show everybody how this setup works. Um, and that it does work, uh, we're just planning on uh, improving on it. We are going to implement the same plug and play adaptability of our 2JZ kit to the LS. The gas gauge will work, the fuel gauge will work, the RPM will work, mile an hour will work, odometer, um, power steering, even AC. So 
stay tuned for more as we work on developing this kit. Um, any questions, just let me know. Thanks.